Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and welcome to this course outline on time series. So in this course, we're gonna have a video that is gonna be a soft introduction to the topic. We're gonna be looking at, you know, what exactly is a time series? How does it relate to stock prices and all these other things? We're then gonna look at some statistical properties, most notably the stationary and mark of one. We're then gonna look at some functions, notably the auto covariance and partial auto covariance function. And we're gonna look at the autocorrelation and partial autocorrelation. Then there's a video on the common types of time series. You've got white noise, alternating. We look at ones that have trends, one that, ones that have seasonality. We then get to the heart of the course, which are your ARIMA time series. Here we've got the autoregressive and the moving average. Autoregressive where the AR comes from, moving average is where the MA. And then the I is for when we integrate non-stationary time series in order to make them stationary. The reason why we want to do that is that we can go into the next video where we will then fit time series to our data. We're also going to be looking at some advanced time series, specifically the GARC model and how you can use it to measure volatility. And then we're going to end off with an RStudio past exam question that has been set by the actuarial exams for subject CS2B. So yeah, just a very quick, these are some of the highlights. We're looking at stock prices. We're going to look at some series. We're going to be discussing the R code, looking at various graphs. Um, we're going to be plotting least squares. We're going to be checking, well, when do you fit order aggressive? When do you uh, fit moving average by comparing the various order co uh, covariance functions? Like I said, we're going to be fitting models. We're then going to be seeing, well, was this a good fit by checking out certain diagnostic tests? Um, then there's the whole thing, like I said, on measuring volatility. And then there is the big giant exam question. It's worth 40 marks. So we're going to be going through all of that. So very quickly, this is what the course is all about. I hope you guys are amped for it because, yeah, I can't wait to teach it to you. So join the course and um, I'll see you guys in the next video where we start discussing time series. Thanks. Cheers.